Good afternoon to many of you. Uh, it's still uh, 11 here, and I'm going to talk about our work on democratizing genome sequence analysis for COVID-19 uh, using Cloud Lab, which is an NSF-funded experimental test bed for cloud computing. I'm at the University of Missouri, uh, Columbia. And so the motivation for our work is uh, pretty uh, straightforward. There's a growing interest in understanding how an individual genome actually impacts the symptoms that a person sees due to COVID-19, as well as the severity of the disease, as well as the eventual outcome, whether they survive the disease or not. So by doing genomic analysis of uh, the genome of COVID-19 patients, we can improve our understanding of the disease, and this can enable us to have new treatment strategies and foster the drug discovery. Uh, there are a number of uh, publications that are coming up, and one of them is in the New England Journal of Medicine that did a genome-wide association study. And this was about uh, uh, using about 1,900 patients and, and studying their genetic uh, variants in the genomes. Another uh, effort that uh, is, uh, has been around is the COVID human genetic effort uh, and it's an international consortium, and the goal is to basically identify how an individual's genome impacts uh, their response to COVID-19. So our genomes may hold the answers to fight COVID-19, and this is an important area to focus on. Um, so the goals of our project are basically you know, twofold. The first is to enable researchers to perform variant analysis at scale on human genome sequencing. And the goal is to give them the resources at no charge. So variant analysis essentially detects variations in the individual genome, for example, single nucleotide polymorphisms or small inserts and deletes, as well as we can even think of structural variants such as uh, copy number variations. Now, uh, the other part of the research is gonna focus on developing an efficient de novo assembly of the human genomes so that we can do deeper analysis of the variants of the genomes of individuals, you know, one belonging to a group that were not impacted by the disease and the other belonging to the group that were impacted by the disease. And in this particular context, we are looking at COVID-19. So to achieve our goals, uh, what we're gonna do is to develop a software infrastructure using Cloud Lab. And Cloud Lab has been around for several years. It was originally designed for computer systems uh, research and it was not really uh, planned for data intensive workloads. But in this particular effort, uh, we are going to show how we can leverage Cloud Lab and have workarounds uh, around some of the limitations that it has to build an infrastructure that can support large scale genomic uh, analysis using cluster computing technologies, as well as open source tools. So we are going to be looking at the best practices uh, that are out there for genomic pipelines. One of them is GATK. We are also going to look at the uh, the BD Genomics Project, we're going to use Apache Spark to uh, achieve parallelism. And we are also going to use some of the open source tools that are widely used in the genomics community. And the second part would be to develop an efficient algorithm that is going to help us perform what we call as exhaustive variant analysis using de novo assembly. So uh, essentially, we are talking about two groups uh, of uh, patients here and using bipartite graph modeling we will be looking at the pairwise comparison between these individuals and have deeper analysis of the variants in their genomes that will help us better understand the disease. And on the right side, what you see is essentially the, uh, the whole ecosystem that we are putting together, leveraging whatever is available in terms of open source software and building our own components, such as the exhaustive variant analysis engine. And the goal is at the end of the day, researchers should not worry about uh, having to pay high costs for cloud computing resources, either through commercial vendors or other uh, you know, venues. So uh, Cloud Lab is a free academic platform and we would like to leverage that uh, to basically empower researchers with the ability to do large scale genome analysis in an effort to find a cure for COVID-19. We also would like to understand how does uh, the genomic workloads impact the computer and network systems. You know, how can we build future systems that are better geared towards uh, processing genomic workloads at scale? 
Now here is a project site. Uh, we have it uh, actively being hosted on GitHub and we are able to allow users to sign up on Cloud Lab and do variant analysis on a single node as well as on a cluster. They can also do de novo assembly on sequences. We have access to uh, two publicly available resources. One is the Thousand Genomes Project, which is of course not uh, related to COVID-19, but it gives us a lot of data to test our software. And then we have access to the COVID-19 data portal where some of the, uh, some of the projects list uh, sequences that are available for us to um, you know, work with. We also report some performance evaluation on our initial efforts. How fast can we actually do the variant analysis on these sequences in a cluster mode and as well as de novo analysis. So please uh, follow this uh, link uh, if you're interested in doing large scale genome analysis uh, at no cost. Um, and uh, here is a simple UI that we are currently building so that you can provide access or provide the URLs for your files. And then you can just say execute and give your email ID and then we will send you back the variant analysis file once uh, the process is completed. Uh, here is our team. Uh, it includes uh, a diverse set of researchers ranging from pathology to genomics to bioinformatics to epidemiology. And uh, my PhD student, Arun uh, Zakaria, is actively involved uh, in building the software along with me. So uh, feel free to reach out to us if you have any questions or interest in using our platform. Uh, and thank you so much for your attention.